Hello and welcome to another video tutorial sponsored by FreelanceFridge.com and ChillOutArtShop.com. I'm James Koenig. I'm the owner of both of these websites. I'm an artist, illustrator, and designer. And I'm going to take you back into Corel Draw today to show you how to make this uh, cool um, mascot sports kind of t-shirt design uh, using just clip art. Um, and some tools in Corel Draw. I know a lot of screen printers and designers don't have the time to spend um, drawing something from scratch for every single customer or they don't have the drawing skill set to do that. So I want to show you some quick tricks of how to create a design like this really fast and easy. So the first thing that I did was I went to chilloutartshop.com and I searched for the artwork that I wanted. I got myself a cool leopard mascot um, and a baseball um, bats and home plate and tribal. And you can see I've taken all those and I put them in a file together in Corel Draw. So I have the three clip art pieces. And the first thing that I need to do is to just kind of layer these images together. So I'm going to take this baseball bats and diamond, kind of center it around here, scale it up to a size that feels pretty good to me. And instead of eyeballing to try to fit this in the right spot, I'm just going to click on the baseball bat image, hold down shift, click on the tribal, and then just hit C on my keyboard. And this centers the design to the tribal. And then at this point, all I have to do is hold down shift and move it up just a little bit to where I want it to be. That looks pretty good to me. Now I take this Jaguar and I move it on top here. Now, if for some reason your Jaguar is underneath and you're like, how do I get it on top? It's real easy. You just go to arrange order to front and it brings it all the way to the front. And for people that like keyboard shortcuts, it's going to be either control or shift and then page up or page down to move it behind things or above things. So I'm going to take this Jaguar, just scale it down a little bit to a point where it looks pretty good to me as far as the size is concerned and the placement. That looks pretty good for now. So now what I need to do is create this uh, text, Washington Jaguars. And again, of course, you can write whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on my text tool. I'm going to click once on the screen, write my first word, Washington. Then I'm going to click down here on the screen, write my second word. And before I do anything else, just to make sure I'm staying Pantone related and um, everything. When you first type words in Corel Draw, it defaults it to the Corel Draw Black, which isn't a Pantone. So all I'm going to do is the easiest way to grab the Pantone from the design and put it on the words is to hold down Shift on your keyboard and then right click and drag from the black clip art onto the word. And you can see now it's Pantone Process Black. So again, I'm just uh, holding down shift, right click and dragging from one of the colors of the design, hovering over the word and then letting go, and that changes it to black. You can do this with any of the colors, the blue, um, the gold, whatever, whatever you want. But I'm just leaving them black for now. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, the word Jaguar, since that's just straight across, as you remember from this one. It's pretty simple, so we'll do that first. So I'm going to click on Jaguars, then I'm just going to go in here and choose the font that I want. Any font that you feel looks good to you. Then I'm just going to click and drag on the corners here to scale it up to a size that feels like a decent size. It's really kind of personal preference at this point. You can let your design sense take over. Now I want the paw to go on top of the word instead of the word on top of the paw. 
So again, I'm just going to go to Arrange, Order, Back One. And you may have to do this a couple times to get it behind the Jaguar. But of course, you can use the Control Page Up or Page Down to do that a little quicker. So now that I have it behind here, the one thing I want to remember is that I need to center it to everything else. So I'm just going to click on the word Jaguars. Then I'm going to hold down Shift on my keyboard and click on the Tribal. Then I'm going to just hit C on my keyboard to center it. And you can just click off to the side to deselect. So now Jaguars is centered with everything else. Looks good. We're just going to put an outline on it. Now, what I wanted to do on this Tribal on the background is I wanted to use a blue like that for the, for the outline of Jaguars. Now let's just go ahead and take this tribal here. And since I'm not going to actually color this tribal like separate pieces where different things are different colors, I'm just going to click on this tribal, ungroup it, hit the weld button to make it all one shape just so it's easier to work with. I'm going to choose just a lighter, a little bit lighter blue on this. Something that's a little easier to see. Um, against the black. And now I can just grab this blue and put it as an outline on Jaguars. So all I have to do is click and drag from this box here that shows me the color of the tribal and hover over the edge of the word. You see how it changes into an outline of a box? Once you see it change to an outline of a box you can let go and that adds a thin outline of that color to the word Jaguars. You can probably barely see it there. But then you click on the word Jaguar, you can go in here, double click on your outline color, and you can change the outline to a larger size so you can see it. And the one thing that you want to remember, um, not only do you want to change the width of your outline, but you want to change you know, the shape of it, you can here. And then the important thing is you want to click these two boxes, Behind Fill and Scale with Image. That puts your outline behind the word so your word can be re read easily. And so at this point you can kind of go in here and you can go back into that tool, double clicking here on the outline box. And you can change the size until you feel like it's a decent size for, for that word, that it looks good to you. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just call Jaguars done for now. Now we've got to change the word Washington. And if you remember from my example of how we're going to make it look, um, we want this cool arch and this double outline effect. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'll go back in here. I'm going to click on Washington. I'm going to choose the font that I want to use for it. I'm going to kind of scale it up to a size that feels about right. Again, we can always change the size later on if need be. So don't feel like this has to be exact. But just so we can see it, I'm going to hold down shift, right click and drag that blue over to the word so that the word's colored blue. And then again, I'm going to click on this black word Jaguar since that's the Pantone black. And again, just grabbing this color here Click and dragging until it turns into an outline of a box. Let go. And now we have that Pantone black on here. And I can change the size. Remember behind fill, scale with image. And again, for this one, since this is the outer outline, the thicker one, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker than, than what you think looks good because we're going to put a white outline on top of that. So that looks pretty decent for now. We're going to click on this and we're going to add the arch effect. So you're going to click on the word. Over here on your tools, you might see this one called the uh, interactive blend tool. If you hold down on that, you can go to this one that says the interactive envelope tool. That's the one we're going to use. You can see when you select that tool, it puts this dotted outline around your text. We're going to go up to the tool presets here and we're going to click on envelope single arc mode. And then on these control points in the center, we want to move both of those upward at the same time. 
So we're going to hold down control on the keyboard and then we're going to click on one of these, doesn't matter which one, click and drag it up. And you can see that adds a nice arch to, to the word. And you can do that again, again holding down control till you get it to where you feel it looks pretty good to you. And I mean you can do it on these sides too if you want. Um, just to where the arch looks pretty good to you. Once you have it how you like, you can click back on your pick tool and then you can move it kind of into place. You can scale it down a little bit more um, till you have it kind of where you want it. it. looks like a good size and you feel good about it. And then we want it behind the Jaguar instead of on top. So again, we're just gonna hit control page down till it moves behind and you can see part of the words are hard, a little hard to read because of the back of the Jaguar so I'm just gonna scale this Jaguar down just a little bit just so we can see the bottom of that H we can make out the word a little better so that looks pretty good as far as sizing and placement but we want to add that extra outline, that white outline on Washington. So we're going to go back in here. We're going to click on the word Washington. We're going to hit Control C on our keyboard to copy. And then Control V to paste. That pastes a copy of the word right on top. Just double click on that black outline. We're changing this one to white. We're making it a lot smaller. And then hit OK. You can see we've got this cool double outline effect now. Still a little big for my taste, so we can just go back in here, scale it down a bit more, till it feels about right as far as the, the size of that white outline on top of the black one. Once you have it how you like it, we just need to put it behind the Jaguar. Again, control page down. We'll do that. You may have to press it a couple times. So now you can see we've made this cool design just like the one I showed you and it's only been a matter of minutes to really do this by taking these clip art images and putting them together. And what's cool about this is if you save this image you can use it again in the future and just change the, the name of the school and the name of the mascot. You can throw a different mascot in here. You can change the colors. So if you needed to, you can double click on this, change it to Tigers. Again, you can center it like so. And then you can change the colors real easily. Put a red outline on this. You can pull that over here to the tribal. And just in a matter of seconds, you can change the colors pull this, this uh, leopard out, put, put a tiger in there, and you've got a completely new design for another school. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and again, I recommend that you uh, buy your clip art from chilloutartshop.com. I've used Pantone colors on all my designs, so it makes it a little bit quicker when working with it. You won't have anything funky happen to you with the artwork. Um, and you'll have my full support if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime. Hope you enjoyed this video.